what's up guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 ultimate team video and today guys what we're going to be doing is ripping a legend bundle but before we get into that i got to show you guys this brand new ladanian tomlinson dude i am so pumped for ladanian tomlinson i wish that i could afford this card right now technically i could probably well no i would have to pretty much sell everything on my team and uh and probably still like figure out a way to add more coins to my team, like do all the solos and all that kind of stuff to even have a chance of getting Tomlinson right now. But I want you guys to take a look at this Ladania friggin' Tomlinson card, man. Dude, I, uh, I love Tomlinson. He's one of my favorite players of all time, literally. Like, I don't know why. I, I just was a huge fan of his. I think it was fantasy football. You guys know I love fantasy football. Tomlinson was the man back in the day for fantasy football. There's no question about it. And this card from 2003, this thing is absolutely insane, guys. 93 speed, 96 acceleration. I mean, 86 catching, 96 carrying. He even has good throwing attributes, which, like, if you remember Tomlinson, there were a couple times when he threw touchdowns, like, to Gates and a couple other guys. And so, yeah, they gave him good passing attributes in case you ever need that for any reason. Great jumping, great elusiveness. The ball carrier vision's off the charts. Stiff arm's unbelievable with 90 for a stiff arm. 92 spin move, 95 juke move. I mean, this thing is just absolutely ridiculous. I wish that I had a good uh, running back to even compare this with. So I'm just going to compare it with the best guy that I have right now, which is probably, like, Fred Jackson. I guess Bo Jackson's probably the best guy that I have right now at the running back position. And obviously you can see Tomlinson just dominates him in absolutely everything. Like it's not even remotely close in pretty much all of the attributes that matter. Trucking is the only thing that Bo Jackson's better in and, and Tomlinson's still an eight, Tomlinson is still an 85. So Tomlinson is plenty good enough. I don't know that I'd say he's worth a million coins right now. But still, I mean, this card just came out, so I'm not really that surprised. I, I, so we see one here that's going for 772. I think it's going to drop quite a bit more than that. I think we're going to see this thing around 250 to 350 thousand by the by the end of this weekend. That would be my guess. I don't know, but that would just be my guess. Um, but either way, this card is just ridiculous. It's really cool looking as well. I want to point out um, that uh, Pixel Pusher, I'm assuming, made this one. I think it looks really damn cool. I think he chose a great photo. So I'm a big fan of how it looks. But anyway, let's get into our Legend Bundle because I know that's what a lot of you guys came here for. So let's hop right into it. I did purchase the points before we got started here with the video. So now I just need to go and find it. Yeah, there we go. Browse the store. And then we're going to find our six Legend Pack bundle. So I want to point out real quickly, the Legend Packs this year say that they're going to contain a guaranteed Legend player or collectible, at least five Gold or Elite players, and a mix of four other team items. Now, I will say that the uh, the guaranteed Legend stuff, like the, the collectibles, are probably going to drop quite a bit in price. So my... My thing that I'm going to say right now is that if you get any of these, I would probably not sell them right now unless you're absolutely desperate for coins. I would wait for maybe another week to see these things rise up just a little bit again in prices. So hopefully that's something that you guys will consider doing. But you do get five gold or elite players. So uh, in doing six legend packs, I'm going to get at least 30 gold players. So that's pretty much like doing a 30 pro pack bundle. So I think that's kind of worth it for me to do this. And not to mention you can still pull elites and uh, other items as well. The other thing is that you're also going to get three additional legendary items with your bundle. So that's nice to see. I'm going to see what I get in any of those. Again, I'm not expecting to really pull anything great in this pack opening video. I have only really had good luck the very first video that I did where I opened up a few elites in that 40 pack bundle. But hopefully we can get better luck today. So let's see what we can do. All right, we're going to rip this for 4,500 points. Start opening up. Well, first of all, let's start off with the Legends Topper. Let's do that first. See what we can get here. All right, so a Legends Badge. All right. Joe Horn. Eh, Joe Horn, what are you going to do? Christian Okoya. Okay, so I like Christian Okoya. I think his attributes are really nice. So we got two Week 10 um, collectibles for Joe Horn and Christian Okoya. And then we also got a Legends badge. So that's not too bad. The Legends badges are going for, I don't know, like 30000 if I remember correctly. So that's okay. Definitely happy to see that. Like I told you guys before, I'm not going to be selling these, I don't think, because I just I expect that they're going to be dropping in price quite a bit. Hopefully, we can put together a good um, bundle of these, and maybe we can get enough to actually put together for a Legend player at some point. But let's go in here and see what we can rip today, guys. Let's go. All right, we got Evan Royster to start things off. We get a Super Bowl uh, badge or a patch, whatever you want to call him. That's nice. Jeremy Curley, okay. Chip Kelly, Marcus Gilchrist. Legends badge, another Legends badge. Nice. I wonder if these are going to really tank in price. 
I have no idea. They might. They might be really prevalent in these legend packs. If they are, that's going to be kind of painful for me because I need those to be high priced. But it'll be nice if we can actually finish one of the sets for a legend. Allen Ball is our final card. So not a lot of great stuff in here, although we did get the legend pa badge and the Super Bowl badge. I think the Super Bowl badges are still going for 5 to 10k, somewhere in that range. So not too bad. Um, not really a whole lot in this pack. Still got five more, though. Got to try and get some elites here. Come on. Aaron Williams, okay. Actually, I'm going to take a look at Aaron Williams real quickly here because my strong safety situation is a train wreck. All right, that's free safety, isn't it? All right, Aaron Williams is definitely going to play for me, though. 90 speed with 88 excel. We got to put him in there. I think he's probably going to start for me at free safety, if nothing else. We still got Dante Whitner to play the other side. So um, that's something that we should probably do. I think we'll probably end up playing Aaron Williams at free safety. So that's going to be a nice upgrade for me. Even though he's probably going to be low rated overall at free safety, I still feel pretty good about him. Um, we also got Marcus Gilchrist in the last pack, and he's pretty decent as well. So we'll have to look at some of these and see. Um, I don't like Marcus Gilchrist's zone coverage being so low. But all right, we'll continue to move on. I just want to look at that for my own uh, enjoyment. Kevin White, here we go, man. Now we're talking about a speedy, uh, a really fast receiver that's also big. 94 speed, 6 foot 3. That's nice. We can definitely make use of a Kevin White, even though he's only 77 overall. That's, that's actually a pretty good pull. I'm happy about that one. Robert Woods, okay. And we get another Legends badge. I wonder if that's going to be something that we get in every pack. Maybe I misread or didn't read that you get that in every pack. But we've pulled it in back-to-back -back packs now. So I'm hoping that's not in every pack. I hope I'm actually just getting lucky. Because otherwise, those things are going to be worth nothing after this weekend, man. All right, let's continue. Here we go. Hussein Abdullah. Paul Pazluzny. Okay, Brian Finneran collectible. Okay, so that's actually pretty nice. Brian Finneran is uh, one of the more valuable uh, legends that are currently in the game because he's six foot five, obviously. Paul Puzlesny, Denard Robinson, Jamie Collins. Let's go. There we go. Our first elite in this bundle. Let's go. Jamie Collins is a really good card, too. 83 speed, 90 excel. He's got really good zone coverage, too, or at least he has in the past. I haven't looked at what his current card has. Just want to take a quick look. Okay, yeah, 84 zone is pretty damn beastly for a linebacker. That is a really nice pull. I'm very, very happy about that one. Let's go. Todd Bowles. Danny Trevathan, MetLife Stadium, Chargers away, and the coach, or the uh, playbook for the Patriots. All right, still got a couple more here to open. I think we've maybe got two more. First thing we get is our collectible, John Randall. All right, Redskins away, Richie Incognito. We've already got him, I think, Eric Wood. Larry Warford. Larry Warford's a beast, I'm sure. His attributes have always been very underrated. Um, like People don't look at him like being a stud, but he is. Nigel Bradham, so nothing really in this pack. Um, damn, that sucks, but maybe this John Randall is worth something. I don't know. felt like I should have got more than that. Man. All right. Here we go. I think this is, yeah, we got one more after this. So we've, this is, we've got one more after this pack. Two more total. Jairus Wright. Jairus Wright was just destroying me in a solo challenge one time, by the way. Danny Trevathan again, and we get, all right, another Christian Okoye. So we've got two Christian Okoyas. I think the previous one was week 10. So we've got a couple of them now. That might bring us closer to actually being able to do his set. That would be a really fun card to use, I think. We get an Adam Pac-Man Jones. Bernard Pollard, one of Ryan's favorites. Well, previously one of Ryan's favorites. Not anymore, I don't think. All right, so this is, I believe, the last Legend pack that we have. Yes, it is. Wish me some luck here, guys. Let's get another Christian Okoye if we can. That would be cool, actually. LaShawn McCoy. Okay, so LaShawn McCoy might be my new starting running back, actually. Um, currently, we've been pretty much using... Um, we've been pretty much using Dree Archer. But, uh, yeah, damn, 88 speed for LaShawn McCoy? Seriously. That is bad. I don't know if we can keep using... I don't know if we're going to be able to use him. We'll see. And we get another Legends badge. So, I think we got three or... We get, we get three or four total Legends badges. That's pretty good. I think four total Legends badges. William Moore, and then the final card, Miles Austin. Damn. So we only got the one Elite here. We did open up quite a few of these Legends badges, though, so hopefully we can make use of those. Um, we'll have to go back and see if we can maybe sell or trade some of, like, the Brian Finneran collectibles for maybe a Christian Okoya, and maybe we can build a Christian Okoya Legend for ourselves. Let me know what you guys think about doing that in the comments section below, and if you guys have any suggestions for me on any videos or anything like that that you want to see in the future, please let me know. But that is going to do it for this pack opening video today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe to this channel if you are new. I would greatly appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys again soon, and good luck opening your own Legends uh, bundles this weekend, guys. Thank you again. Bye-bye.